Welcome back to How the Tech Do I Do This. In this video, we will explain how to set up and change the settings of your Google account to your needs. If you're wondering how to create a Google account, or why you might need a Google account, click on the information card in the top right hand corner to find my videos about that. Let's get straight into it. So, you've created your Google account, but you want to set it up perfectly to your needs. So you should have been directed to google.com where you're logged in once you've created your account. You want to click on the first letter of your first name, which should be up here, or if you've made it something else, then it'll come up. And just click on this button and press manage your Google account and have a click. Now it should take you to this homepage, which is your Google account homepage. In here it has everything, but more importantly is these tabs on the side. So first is personal information. In personal information we have things like your profile photo, your name, your birthday, your gender, and your password. Your contact info, so your actual email, and um, if they want to contact you, what other emails could they contact? and your phone number and you can add or remove if you would like to and then last here is choose what others see so that's if you email them or if they email you what can they see about you so if you click on go to about me it will come up so you can change with these icons as you see up here you can actually change that so if we just go back now to data and personalization and data and personalization is probably the most important tab to set up your Google account properly. So first is the privacy checkup. This is if you want to make sure that your settings are right for you, change your password, make sure that your account isn't being hacked, that sort of thing. So down here is activity controls. So if we've got things like web and app activity, um, which you can turn off or on. So that's if you, um, if it remembers what you've been on, your location history and your YouTube history and much more. Also there's the ad personalization. So that's for example if you just randomly Google something. And that's if you want to get ads based on what you've searched or you can turn that off. They recommend leaving that on. And here is also you can delete your Google account. Um, you can look at your dashboard, you can look at your storage, you can also download your data. For example, if you want to use it with another Google account, you can download it. Or you can make a plan for your account and you can change the preferences like the language, the search settings. Also reservations is if from Gmail, for example, if you've got a ticket for flight then it'll come up in here or if you add it manually then it tells you when your next flight hotel booking or events is and also the business features if you have business you can turn off and on business personalization so if that's that's if you want to be found in google that sort of thing. and then we want to head over to security security is security you can do a security checkup to make sure that your password is safe, your saved passwords are safe, and that sort of thing. You can actually use your phone to sign in. So you can enable that here, and also two-step verification. Two-step verification is where you get a code from a device that you've already logged in on, and you can get the code to log into the device you're trying to log into. And here's ways we can verify it to you. So if there's a security breach and they need to verify that it's you so you can log in and fix it um, you can either add a recovery email or recovery phone also there's um, it tells you your recent security activity and the devices you're logged into also apps that your account trusts so the only one we have at the moment is google chrome and you can turn less secure app access on or off so that's if you want apps that Google hasn't verified to have access to your account. We recommend that's off or else if they haven't secured it then that possibly means there could be a data breach. And also um, it has signing in with Google, password manager and linked accounts. And then here we've got people and sharing. So this is like your contacts and their information. You can block contacts, they can't email you. And in payments and subscriptions 
you can look at your saved credit cards and your secure payments you can look at things you've bought on google and also the subscriptions like spotify that you pay for with your google saved credit cards and then same with reservations as we, as we looked before so that's all that's in your google account you can adjust everything to your needs so it can be perfect for you google accounts are completely free sign up with the link in the description below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell to receive an email about every new video we post if you like this video click on the thumbs up button below that's all from how the tech do i do this thanks for watching